Okay, so today we're going to look at the two bamboo styli. The first one here is the bamboo fine line stylus. Uh, it's got a removable cap, um, fairly decent size, and you can see it's got a very fine point. Um, unlike the other one I'm going to show you, which is the bamboo uh, creative stylus, this one here. It comes with a very nice case, um, some extra nibs uh, you can see over there. And with this one, it's got two buttons, but a very thick nib, uh, similar to the uh, other styli that you use that are non-Bluetooth connected. Uh, it's also got two buttons on there uh, that you can program for undo, redo, and a bunch of other stuff, including eraser. Um, and the tip is nice. It actually works even if you're not using the Bluetooth function. Um, now, so we're going to try and get this set up. Let me just uh, show you. This is the iPad Air 2, not the 1. Um, since there have been a lot of issues with the iPad Air 2, I'm making this video specifically for that. Now, if we go into, I'm going to be using GoodNotes 4, uh, which is a supported application. Uh, you can see that it uh, connects fairly easily, especially the original creative stylus. Um, you basically just go into the menu options, uh, select Wacom, and uh, connect the stylus. And uh, just connect it, you hold the button, turn it on, uh, blue LED shows up, and just uh, push it where it tells you to, and it is connected. Now we can go in and adjust the writing posture to uh, however you write on screen. Obviously it's not going to be as great. Um, now I know you can't see here, I'm going to try and adjust this so you can see. Um, but you'll see it does write fairly well. Because it is a fat nib, um, obviously you can't uh, write as precisely as you would be able to with a finer nib, but it does write quite well. Um, and as you can see here, even though I'm not using the uh, smaller uh, zoom box, it uh, you can still maintain it somewhat in the line. And I'm also showing you here that uh, the pressure sensitivity uh, does function. You select the felt tip in the uh, menu button, and uh, you can see that just by pressing down a little harder you can get uh, varied thickness. Uh, as far as uh, the drawing and so forth, you can see, you know, you get your thin and your thick lines. Uh, it's fairly easy to uh, calibrate where you're starting off and uh, ending something. So with a triangle, three points, uh, you can get them to match up fairly nicely. Um, now, as far as how small you can get, uh, what I've found that uh, if you try and get small, so if you're trying to write within the two college ruled lines on the page, uh, it doesn't pick up. So the very minute differences in your hand, it won't be able to pick up as effectively. Um, but compared to the uh, other styli, it's definitely a lot better. Um, so if you're using a non-Bluetooth stylus, of course, um, this is, will be, uh, you know, a lot more precise. Uh, also because of the pressure sensitivity, you can see even without doing anything, just changing the pressure that I'm pushing down, you can get a varied um, thickness of the line. Um, it's actually fairly comfortable to use. The one thing I do like about this one compared to the other is because it has a, uh, a rubber tip uh, and a rechargeable battery like you can see here, um, it doesn't make much noise when you're writing. So if you're in a quiet room or uh, in a meeting or something where uh, the constant click, click, click would be annoying, this would be your best bet. Um, and I would definitely recommend trying that one out. The next one we're going to try is the uh, Bamboo Fine Line. I know you, it's a little difficult there to see the bamboo, but uh, it is, there we go. Uh, it's the Bamboo Fine Line Stylus. Um, I actually really like this one as well. Uh, this one does have the fine tip, um, but it only has one button. Now, the problem that I had somewhat uh, with this one was when you're trying to switch between the styluses, um, after the update on the firmware, it seems like it doesn't connect as easily in third-party applications. So I am going to assume this is something that GoodNotes has not updated yet. Um, you can see here I'm trying to turn off, turn on uh, Bluetooth and uh, turning on the Wicom Connect feature, but it just does not work. Uh, however, I know it is not a hardware or compatibility issue um, because if uh, I switch over to the uh, Bamboo Paper app, uh, it's fairly quick um, and switches actually quite easily. I'm going to try it one more time, see if it actually picks up in here. Um, also because you can see that the blue light is flashing in the background on the uh, 
bamboo creative stylus it keeps trying to pick that one up um, instead of this one even though it says connected you'll see it uh, any lines I draw will not stick on the page uh, because it's uh, thinking I'm still using the other stylus now the thing with this one of course is uh, it is rechargeable um, so if the battery dies you are sort of stuck with it now you can see uh, it's not writing so I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit to the uh, connection okay okay so I'm gonna keep trying now that it doesn't work um, I'm just gonna go over to the other app uh, it did give me quite a bit of difficulty um, but you'll see once you go into any of the uh, Wacom apps it's uh, actually not too difficult to connect um, it does feel nice in hand um, now you see you just hold it there and it's finally connected okay and uh, you'll see the uh, it turns blue and gives you a little connected symbol there uh, now when I go into the uh, other app it uh, remains connected and it just it works so I'm not sure um, what's going on but um, this is uh, how it writes and uh, I just, just saw there sometimes when you're writing for some reason uh, what you write will disappear uh, it hasn't happened too often for me um, but nonetheless it has happened before now uh, I'm going to do the same thing again with this one um, try and write within the lines as you'll see it's actually a little bit easier and a little clearer when you uh, use this as compared to the other one you can keep it uh, quite well within the lines um, obviously because of the uh, the point uh, tip versus the um, the rubber. Um, however, one thing to note is if it is not powered on, it does not even work as a stylus. Uh, unlike the other one that will still work uh, powered off, uh, this one requires consistent power. Now, I believe Wacom states that this one has 1,000 something points of pressure, whereas the Creative Stylus has 2,000 something. Um, I'm not sure if you can really notice the difference. Um, but I will tell you that it was a little bit easier with the uh, the rubber tip. Um, to get the varied pressures. Uh, with this one it felt like I was pressing down on the screen um, a little bit past my comfort level to try and get the thickest of lines. Um, so I guess for the artists and uh, someone who really needs the pressure sensitivity um, this is a good option but I wouldn't recommend uh, using this consistently as I feel it may um, damage your iPad Air 2 screen. Uh, although the iPad Air 2 does feel much more sturdy, uh, the screen is a lot firmer than compared to the iPad Air 1. Uh, there's no uh, give in the screen, so when you're writing, you don't feel that flex or anything like that. Um, now, of course, if you do the zoom in function, uh, you'll see it is a lot better. Um, anything you write um, comes out very legible. Now, um, one thing I did notice, obviously, there is a little bit of lag between when you're writing and when it shows up on the screen. Um, but the good thing I like is the uh, button is used as a undo. So if you ever, you know, need to erase anything quickly, uh, no need to go to the erase tool. Just click the uh, the button on the pen, and it will automatically just uh, do the undo. And it works great. Um, I found myself using that quite a bit, actually. Now, one thing I do want to note, um, your hand posture is very important with this, uh, and making sure you set it up appropriately will be the difference between you actually enjoying using the product and you getting frustrated. So try out various different hand postures. Um, when I was using the landscape mode, I found the vertical hand posture was actually a lot better um, than how my hand actually is on screen. Uh, however, when in portrait, of course, uh, the hand postures uh, are lined up with how I was using the screen. Um, so that might be something that if you are having trouble with the, with the pen or with the, uh, the postures, um, where it looks like the line is actually drawing from some point other than the nib of the pen, um, you may want to try playing with that a little bit uh, and see if that helps. Uh, overall, um, I'm pretty satisfied. I tried out the Creative Stylus 2 uh, with the iPad Air 2 as well um, and it did not work. It, uh, I shouldn't say it did not work. It worked uh, pretty bad. 
Um, so there you have it. Uh, that's the Wycom Creative Stylus 2 and the Wycom Fine Point, uh, or sorry, Fine Liner uh, Bamboo Bluetooth Smart um, Pens. Now with the uh, the Fine Liner, um, you see that it is rechargeable. It uses the uh, regular micro USB. Uh, the cable that comes with it is kind of small, so I'm not sure what the charge rate on that is. Um, but I found that I just plugged it into a regular one amp uh, charger that I have plugged in to charge all my other stuff, and uh, it charged up uh, pretty well. Uh, so far, charge has lasted me two days, and I think it was saying 84% or something like that. Um, so it is fairly decent. Um, but this one, of course, with the Creative Stylus 2, what I do enjoy more is um, the feel of it. It's a little bit more rubbery. Um, and of course that the battery is replaceable uh, so you know if uh, you're traveling or anything like that um, and you need this uh, you won't be out of luck and again thank you for watching and I uh, hope this uh, helped with your decision